My name is Audrey Bergeron, and I'm an application scientist for Corning Life Sciences. Our team works in the lab to perform experiments in order to produce technical documents in order to show our customers how they can use our products. For SLAS, I did a collaboration with Promega in which I generated cancer spheroids and then used their system to isolate RNA from the spheroids. One of the questions we get a lot from customers is, how large of a spheroid should I make? And that really depends on the application. If the spheroid gets larger, the cells in the middle of the spheroid get less oxygen, they can become necrotic. You don't always want that. So the goal of my project was to be able to use the spheroid microplate so that I could control the size of the spheroid depending on how many cells I put in the plate. And then I used Promega's Maxwell RSC instrument, and I was able to use that to then look at, as the spheroids got larger, my gene markers for hypoxia um, increased. I think this work will help customers because we frequently receive questions from customers about how large spheroids they should be making. And we usually tell them if you want to avoid a hypoxic core to do something smaller like a 200 micron diameter spheroid. However, using this type of work, they themselves can seed a variety of sized spheroids and look at RNA to determine what size better fits their application. So I used the Corning spheroid microplate for this project because I wanted to do a single spheroid per well and to be able to get very large spheroid. However, a customer could also use the Alplasia microplate for this product if they do want those smaller spheroids, if they want something that's less than 500 micron in diameter, because in that case, they could use multiple spheroids per well in order to be able to isolate more RNA. Yeah, so what's exciting to me is a lot of our customers are trying to model diseases, they're trying to model cancer, and they want to do this in the lab but try to get to be as similar to how it would be in a human as possible. And the more ways we can give them, the more tools in order to form these cultures, such as the 3D cultures, the better we can help them. In addition, the more information they can get from those 3D cultures, whether it's looking at viability or looking at RNA expression, the better. So with the Corning spheroid microplate, the target is really for customers who want to grow spheroids. And so by spheroids, we mean masses of cells, usually tumor cells, it's a heterogeneous mixture. However, for customers who want to do more polarized cell types, they then would need to start pairing in some of our other products, such as Nature Gel. Seems to me that for 3D, what's next is um, researchers are trying more and more, trying to better um, recapitulate what's seen in vivo. And so there's been a lot of work in cancer, for example, done in tumor cell lines, but more and more researchers are actually trying to use patient-derived samples. And then that's where looking at things like RNA can come in hand.